So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can rename files and folders using Python. So if you have not watched the videos that I made on the OS module, I do recommend that you go and watch them. So hey guys, this is Vishwit and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can rename files and folders. So let's begin. So uh, I will show you what are the files that are present. Uh, this is my working directory okay so here you can see there is one file which is an image this one and there is a name that is given so this is like taken on uh, if you look carefully so it's like 17 3 i mean 17th march 2022 okay and this is the particular time obviously uh, you will be able to understand this so i just want to change this uh, file name so I'll open my Jupyter notebook, which is already open by default. So I'll come over here. I hope you have set up your Git and terminal. I have also made a video on this and you can go and watch, watch that video. First thing that I will do to rename a file is you have to import the OS module. So I'll import import OS and I will do shift enter and OS dot it's very simple actually os dot rename we come over here okay and before doing a rename i will just check the files that are present in my current working directory if i do list dir okay so these are the files that are present right this is a folder this is a file and this is the file our file jupyter notebook file that we are working so this is the image that i want to rename so simply what we can do is os dot rename and you can pass this image name uh, if you just open the brackets and press tab it is going to suggest you all the things that you can put in so generally uh, if you just put tab it will show you this list you can just select the image that is this one okay so you don't have to type completely and select and press enter and give a comma and give a name let's give a uh, image uh, let me show you the folder also okay this is the folder and this is a jupyter, Note jupyter notebook file okay so if i keep it over here and keep my file over here okay now it's good i guess yeah so if i do os rename i give the file name and i will give a a name called as image dot jpg just make sure that you give the extension okay if you don't provide the extension uh, you won't be able to open that as an image format okay so for example if i don't give the extension look okay, let's 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 test this okay let's uh, change the file name later we'll test without giving the extension if i do shift and enter yeah you can see the this image got changed okay so we are successfully able to change the image now uh, for example if i come if i do os dot rename okay if i give image dot jpg and if i don't give any extension for example i will give this as file or maybe maybe file is fine and i didn't give i didn't give this jpg okay so if I do sh uh, shift and enter, so you can see this is a file. You can't open it uh, like an image. Okay. You have to give the extension. So please do provide the extension. Okay. So I'll come over here. I will do file dot JPG and here you can just pass image dot JPG shift enter. What happened? Okay. Sorry. It is it is file and this is the image dot jpg. If I do shift and enter, okay, it again got changed. If I open this, you have the file. Now this works with file and also with folders. Let's test it with the folder. So I'll copy this. I'll paste it over here. Okay, so this is one of my projects that I did previously. Uh, very old project. I did it in twenty nineteen. Okay. 
I am not able to execute this project, but hopefully if I am execute, I will show you this project also. But anyways, that's like a different topic. Uh, the thing is, this is the name ATM product backlog. Okay. So now if I want to change this folder name, so it's simple OS dot rename. Okay. And we have ATM, just type AT and press tab and it will be auto completed. Uh, you can keep this slash. Okay. But you, you don't need to, you can keep that uh, backslash. I should say that's like a front slash. You can keep the front slash. You, you can avoid that also. And if I give a new name called as ATM, ATM, maybe ATM project. Okay. Shift enter. See, this got changed. Now, if we want to change it to something else, and by the way, uh, all the files that were present previously are still there completely intact. There is nothing. So for example, there is a folder called as database schema, which is inside our ATM project. Okay. So if we want to change this, hopefully you have, if you have watched my previous video, you know how to do it. Just have to pass the file path. So there is, there is two ways of passing the file path. You can pass the relative path or you can pass the absolute path. Okay. I want to show you that you have to take care while renaming a folder which is inside this okay so now if i do uh, os dot remove atm project if i press tab okay it is not it is not suggesting me but that's fine we can come over here select this control c and if i do control v okay and i give the name as database okay so here you have to be very careful. Okay. So if I execute this, what is going to happen? We have a folder called as database schema inside the ATM project, right? Inside this, we have the database schema. I want to rename this. I passed this path where our folder lies. And also I passed the new name. Okay. So if I execute this, what is going to happen? So if I do shift and enter, uh, remove text. Okay. I'm sorry. It should not be removed. It is rename. Okay. So if I now do shift and enter, okay. You see that folder got deleted from here. If, if I go back one step. Okay. Now you can see that folder came over here and that name got changed. If I open this folder, you can see all the tables, all the data that was there. It is intact. But what happened was that it got moved from this part to outside. Okay. So that is one thing you have to take care of. Uh, even this happened uh, while I went, I was learning this rename thing. So you have to take care of this. So if you have any folder, which is inside your inside another folder, you have to pass the whole path again. I'll show you what I mean by that. So now inside ATM project, I have this project source code, right? If I copy this and if I do OS dot rename, rename. Okay. And if I give ATM project and if I paste project source code, okay. So I am accessing project source code, which is inside the ATM project. So now to change it completely again, what I have to do, I have to type atm project atm project slash the new name so now we'll give the new name as src src okay so now if i do shift and enter see now it got changed properly so now inside source i have uh, another source and web content okay but our our main purpose was to change the name inside this folder and it got changed okay so inside atm there was source project, uh, source project, uh, project source code that folder got changed to this particular folder. So just remember if you are changing folder in, if you are changing a file or folder inside a folder, just pass the path again. Okay. Otherwise it will copy it to, uh, the particular working directory. 
in this case it copied into in, it copied this database into our uh, working directory and it also renamed it okay it will rename it will move and it will rename so just take care of this and uh, you can rename files and folders as i showed so that's all for this video if this video was helpful do press that like button and as always thank you for watching i'm going to see you in an awesome upcoming video